Hi, I'm Wilfred Ranke, also known as the Oshawa Ogre, and today we're going to be doing Moinks in the Barbecue. For this recipe, I use uh, frozen meatballs. You can buy them at most frozen food stores. Uh, these ones are uh, pre cooked Italian style meatballs, they're one inch in diameter. And also, what I do then is I take uh, about 48 of the meatballs out of the package and put them in a Ziploc bag along with a, about a cup of a Kraft Zesty Italian salad dressing and I also use some roadkill grill uh, seasoning uh, it's basically any type of a pork rub would, would do just fine for this uh, here you can see roughly what the spices look like it's probably a combination of uh, salt and pepper and cayenne and uh, maybe some paprika and uh, as I say I put it in a Ziploc bag along with a, about a cup of the dressing and the uh, seasonings and let it sit in a fridge for about four hours and let it defrost and then I take some bacon and I slice it in half that way you're using one half slice of bacon on each meatball you wrap the meatballs and you take a toothpick and just uh, secure the uh, piece of bacon in place and then you use more of the uh, rub that you have, the pork rub uh, and uh, just cover them all over the uh, outside and here you can see the roadkill grill once again uh, it was given to me by my uh, uh, daughter's boyfriend as a Christmas present, and, uh, quite tasty actually. Anyway, uh, as I say, uh, we made about 48 of these meatballs uh, wrapped with a nice bacon, and uh, then we're going to get it ready to put on the grill. First thing we're going to do, I'm going to make a smoke pack. Uh, we are using a gas barbecue, but I have some cherry wood that I had uh, some logs of, so I uh, chopped it up a little bit and uh, put a few pieces into a piece of aluminum foil and then you wrap it up nice uh, loosely and uh, then you poke it with a fork uh, so you have lots of room for the smoke to come out of the package and then you're going to lay that right over top of where your fire is on the barbecue uh, for this uh, we're going to be using indirect heat uh, as you can see here we've got the smoke pack on the left hand side that's where the flames are going to be and on the right hand side I took the grill and I covered it in aluminum foil just to catch the drippings uh, make cleanup a lot easier we're going to uh, uh, warm up the barbecue to roughly we want about 250 degrees uh, so probably like a, a low heat and we're only going to use half the grill uh, for the heat as I said and we're going to use the warming rack on top there we're going to throw all the pieces of moink onto the warming rack and uh, as you see 48 of them uh, fits half the grill kind of nicely uh, it's going to take roughly about an hour an hour and 15 minutes uh, at 250 degrees to get these things cooked as I said the meatballs originally were pre-cooked so really you're just warming them up and crisping up the bacon and uh, but you don't want to do this over top of uh, the heat directly because the uh, bacon will end up charring and burning and it's not going to be very good also too I should mention that the toothpicks you use um, soak them in water for a long time beforehand uh, I only did it for about half an hour it wasn't enough in this case uh, the toothpicks did get burnt but uh, uh, it wasn't too bad and now we're going to be making the uh, sauce and what we use is uh, a container of uh, grilling sauce uh, I just bought this at the uh, uh, frozen food store it was on sale uh, it's a steak sauce any barbecue sauce would work fine and you're going to mix it 50-50 with grape jelly of all things uh, and uh, after these things have been cooked for about an hour and a half as you can see the bacon looks uh, nice and crispy you dip them right into the uh, barbecue sauce that you make up with the grape jelly and you give it a little bit of a turn and uh, as you can see this looks good enough to eat already but we're not quite done uh, you need to put this back on the barbecue uh, probably for about uh, five or six more minutes uh, that will make the barbecue sauce uh, turn into a glaze and it will stick right to the meatball really nicely and here you can see I'm just coating a couple more pieces a couple more pictures can you taste this? Uh, it looks like it's good enough to eat right out of the video here. Oh, it's fantastic uh, eating. Uh, it's a great appetizer. Um, 
you can make a meal of it as well, but uh, it's great for parties and things like that. Actually, these pictures that you see here, um, I ended up uh, having leftovers that I did not coat, and uh, these were actually uh, made the next day on the barbecue. So uh, when I did these ones, I uh, threw them right onto the grill and uh, heated them up on a low to medium heat. It takes about five or six minutes uh, if you take the meatballs out of the fridge. And uh, like I say, uh, don't put the barbecue sauce on them until uh, you're ready to put them on the barbecue for the last few minutes. If you put the barbecue sauce on too early, you're going to end up burning the sauce and it's not going to look as nice. Here you can see some pictures of the uh, product just as it's finishing cooking. Oinks were originally invented by a gentleman, uh, he goes by the uh, Twitter handle of BBQ Grail that's G-R-A-I-L and uh, I found uh, his recipe on uh, online and uh, decided to give it a try and I'm glad I did it's uh, really a good uh, a good tasting product and uh, uh, mouth watering actually it's just amazing and this about does it uh, I thank you very much for uh, watching my video and I uh, hope you maybe try to do this yourself one time uh, if you do you'll be doing it more than once trust me it's a, a really beautiful thing take care and I hope you watch some of my other videos